Hello everyone, uh, I'm Adrian and I'm going to show you how to uh, create a game using this website RPG Playground, which is a great tool that we're going to use in class. Okay, so I have already uh, my account and I'm logged in, if you can see my profile here. Uh, so I'm going to go back here and click on create game. That's what you need to do if you want to start working okay do you want to watch a quick tutorial skip because this is a tutorial and we're going to learn how this works okay the first thing that i recommend you to do is a add a game title i'm gonna create um i'm gonna name this tutorial map because we're gonna learn how to create a map here so this is how a this is how it looks Um, you can edit your game here using this menu uh, if you click on close you see how it works and you can move your character and everything and you can go back to a uh, settings okay so um this pla uh, flower icon here means how to edit your map uh, your actual tiles so I'm going to start with the ground. I, if you click here and you've got the paintbrush, you see it, but if you click on the rectangle, you can actually edit it faster. There you go. Imagine you want to change a, the color of the grass. I'm going to do it faster a, if you select that rectangle option. Okay. So you move the map using those arrows there. I'm going to make a just a super rectangle here. And I, yeah, I'm going to leave it like this. OK, so you can see you could also make a path. So I will make a path here to show you how it works. Uh, yeah. Now. I have to use this corner here, mm -mm, not this one, sorry, here, there you go, and this one goes up, and I'm going to choose this one in the middle, and uh, yeah, and this one should be this one we leave it like this there is also a fence that you could use you see if you want to uh, decorate it mm -mm, mm -mm. and it goes up sorry this one here and this one in the corner to make it look great okay um you could also if you choose outdoor because this is outdoor you will see lots of options for that see it doesn't come up well because i'm with the rectangle so i'll use the paintbrush again and i could add a few trees I could put this sign here i could even put the well or scarecrow yeah there are like lots and lots of options that you can I encourage you to explore them all and see the ones that you like best. Let's, let's add a palm tree as well. Not there maybe if you don't like it there you could you you can choose the rubber here and just erase it. Okay. I want to add a house now. So I'm going to click on ref map buildings and i will choose this house here and i want to make it this big and then i will fill it in okay nice and big then i'm gonna choose well here you've got i think you've got nice big trees here yeah I'm going to add one. There you go. 
Okay, now I want to choose either window because most houses have windows. So all we need now is the door. So I'm going to click on here the character icon objects and I will choose one of these doors. Okay. Yeah, maybe here. Okay. I could have made this bigger so that this was in the middle, but it's fine. Okay. Here, you've also got a few options to add monsters and animals. So you could add a dog, sheep, or even a monster that you would have to fight. Okay. Or also other characters. There are like tons of them. So I will add this girl here. Now, I want to create the inside of the house. I need to click here now, levels, add new level, and I will name it house. And I will choose here medium size indoor. Okay. There it is. This is the inside of the house. So I'm going to edit it now. Uh, the first thing that I want to do is a add like the wall. All right. So I will select this, add it here. This is the right part, the right corner. And then same, I will fill it in again. Oops. Oh no. Um, oh, sorry about that. Here. Now I could add a table and I could also add another character here or even some windows. Yeah. Maybe here and another one. Okay. There's also chimney, maybe some flowers here. Okay. You see, this is a bookshelf. Okay. And you could decorate it as you wish. But the important part is you need to go back to objects here to add the door. Okay. There you go. That's obviously the door. And now, how can you make this interact? Okay, so this is a door. We need to edit the door behavior. We want to send this to first, because it's the name of the first map, to door, this door, because it's the one that we just added. We have no other doors. And we also need to do the same in our main map. So we go back to levels first. You click on the door and you say that this is going to go to level house and to door, door 0131. Okay. So we're going to try it. Look, this is it. I'll fight this monster using space. <laughs> and if you enter, you enter the house by, and now if you get closer, this, we say hello to each other. But if we want to edit that, just go back here, select the character and talk behavior. When touched, you see that hero that's you says hello and NPC 1301 says hi. We're going to remove these actions and insert action, select the character. The character says, hey, how are you doing? Have a good day and insert action for our hero and the hero will say thanks you too next okay so now if you close it now if you approach this character hey how are you doing have a good day thanks you too a when you're happy with your project we're this you have game visibility private now you save the game if you go back to your profile leave and this is my profile if i click on game sorry i ran out of time so i had to start a new recording so he, this is my profile 
if I go uh, here on games, you will see all the games that you have created and you could either play it or edit it. That's what we're going to do in the following videos. Okay. I hope this was useful and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.